Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I'm releasing a new version of the Character Builder Plus, version 0.4.14. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more information over this about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. So, um, the last video I made about the Character Builder Plus was 0.4.12, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I've skipped the version. Actually, I didn't skip it. I just skipped making a, a video about it because as I said before, I will only make a video if I add an interesting feature to the builder. And so I did. Um, here it is. Uh, it looks the same as always, uh, the front screen at least. So you don't see the changes here. Let's just go through the change tracker as usual. Um, so I did ma didn't make a video about this version, but I do want to skip through those changes real quick because there is something interesting, or actually two interesting things in here. Um, the first thing is the Bear Cup Equip Power now gives uh, power instead of combat advantage. Well, it doesn't give it, but there's some kind of equip text uh, that something happens and it's, it, it somehow became power instead of combat advantage. Um, the second thing is when you close the tool, now you uh, get a confirmation. So if I try to close it, you will get a confirmation dialog. Unsafe changes will be lost, are you sure? You can press no and it says open. If you press yes, of course it closes. Um, I've done this because uh, some people have lost uh, their progress by accidentally closing this window. Uh, because all windows look, well, they don't look the same. They have the same look and feel, of course. But yeah, I've, I've gotten this request a couple of times and uh, it's, it's not a super big thing to add and I get it, so I added it. Uh, the third thing on here, which I also quickly added, is a filter for companion equip types. Now if you, wait, let me just quickly select something here so we can select companion equip bars. In the past, if you wanted to select an equip power in this list, you had to go through all of these. Uh, let's say you're looking for something with power. You have to go through all of these one by one and then where's power? Uh, this one is power. Okay, uh, this one is power. So this one and you have to keep looking which one has what and then at the end go back to the ones. It's a little bit inconvenient. So what I did is I added a filter here where you can select something. Uh, I've added a couple of filters. If you want something additionally here, it's very easy to add. But let's say I select power. Now I get all companion equip powers here that say something about power. So here, this one on a daily use, increase your power by 2000. This one has power. This one gives power. Now all of the ones in this list now give power. Oh, this one uh, using encounter power. So this one also has power in the text. That's basically how it works. If there's power in the text, it will show up here. Uh, and that works also for crit severity. Uh, you get a small list with all the things that give crit severity. Incoming and outgoing healing will be very uh, requested uh, because there's only a couple of those and now you can find them easily in the offensive. You only have two apparently. Uh, outgoing healing in offense if you have three to give outgoing healing etc etc so now very easy to find that was 13 let's go to 14 uh, probably you've been reading here anyway uh, I've added the rest of the 1000 expedition gear so item level 1000 uh, I already had a couple of pieces in there but I kept getting requests can you add this piece and then can you add this piece I went through the um, collections page, uh, show by location and then expeditions and now I've added all of these, so the trapper of the twilight, uh, of the stars and of the mazes and I didn't just do that for the ranger of course but I did that for all classes. Uh, you have for all of those three sets you, ha uh, you have all items so it's 12 items uh, for a class. This one is for Ranger, uh, Rogue and Cleric. You have one for Barbarian, Fighter and I think it was Paladin? 
They have wizard and wizard and warlock yet. Three streamer sets. And I think that's it. Uh, so in total 36 items. Uh, of course I didn't add double ones. But now they're in here. Uh, back to the tool. Um, then the Hezru companion was added in the Zen store. I think it's disappeared again. But it's in here now. So if I go to... I think it was a defensive power. You have the Hezru. I also made a video about this. Increases damage resistance against devils. So that's in there. Um, then the Alpha Compi equip power. I fixed it in the tool. So before it didn't take into account the power that you got from other equip powers. And I um, solved that. Because that's what it did in the game before it broke. And right now of course uh, if you have an Alpha Compi you know that it's broken. And they're working on that, so let's wait for the fix there. In the tool, it still gives you power, but um, I don't know if that's going to be the final way how it works. Uh, then I also worked a bit on the rounding error and the bonding stat transfer. There are still some differences, but it's, it's becoming less, I think. I don't know exactly where they round and what they round. I think... Maybe partial intermediate results are not rounded again. It's, um, yeah, it's nice. So that's still some work. Um, I, I don't know if it's super important, but I like things to be very precise. Uh, you should know me about that. And then, of course, the one that I made this video about. I added buff food to the buff page. So if we go to the buffs page, now we have a nice and big page here where we can select an invocation blessing there is a, a choice of four of course these are received random but you can use multiple ones there's no counter here so in the end you get the one that you need uh, strong or chilled food uh, you can pick one here typically people at least dps go for the prime rib elixirs you have the wild storm elixir here but also different ones uh, potions are separated in two categories you have the um, Regular potions here, potion of aggression, striking, dueling, and unbreaking from chilled. Then we have this uh, potency potions, normal and plus one. And then we have a selection here where you can select a potion type, a rank, and then whether it's plus one or not. So if you have a potion of power, rank 10 plus one, the selection would look like this. If it's another plus one, it's like this. If it's a rank eight plus one, it looks like this, etc. You, you catch uh, the thing. And then at the end also event food. And event food has changed a bit recently. Uh, before this change and before the alpha compi broke, it uh, didn't take into account the uh, companion statistics. And uh, while I was making this, I was actually doing the calculations, trying to figure out how this works. And while I was doing that, they changed this stuff. So now it does take into account uh, companion statistics, so the bonding transfer statistics. Um, oh yeah, the tooltips are wrong. <laughs> I didn't fix those yet. Okay, whatever. Uh, so let's let's actually look into the correctness of this because that's always something interesting. Um, I've I have here a build. Uh, this this video is not about the build, but I have a, a build of life. And I can load that build. I've put it in this file here. And if I go to player stats, you can see that these statistics are pretty accurate. Hit points is exactly the same. We have power. Uh, let's turn off our potion, <laughs> which we're already using. Uh, so if we're not using that, it's one off. Rip. Uh, yeah. So. Let's look at adding buffs, okay, buffs. Let's add Grace of Battle. So this is the hammer that you get from Invocation Blessing here. If you take one, you will get a random buff. This is Gift of Awareness. This one is Gambler's Fortune. Then we have Righteous Boon. And this one is grace of battle and this one grants power and defense and it's also selected here and if we look at the statistics now 
back here you can see that power is increased and it's the same in both and then defense is also increased and it's also the same in both so now you can see grace of battle actually gives you 1302 uh, power and 1302 defense i think in the description it says another value no it doesn't say anything um okay that's grace of battle so as you can see it will work we will keep that one and add a prime rib uh, prime rib is here let's add one we also get power and hit points from this so let's move this a little bit away here um, view player stats uh, hit points went up to 355 294 i think this is 5% of your hit points gets added oh no wait this is a, this is this one is a fixed value so we get 5714 hit points and we get uh, a fixed value in uh, where is it oh no that's on penetration power prime rib 1143 so that's that one um then let's add the wildstorm elixir it gives you 400 crit strike and 10 percent crit severity uh, we add that add it here as well um crit strike went up by uh, 400 from the wildstorm elixir as you can see at the bottom uh, it's the same here just one off but that's normal and then also crit severity 135 now and that's also here as you can see then the potion which we're already using uh, before potion of power rank 10 plus one let's also use that in the game uh, this one bam this one just gives plain power uh, we're now at 181 uh, 88 uh, yes 181 and then uh, we can add the event food which, as I said before, uh, didn't take into account companion stats, so everything from companions was not buffed, but now it does, which means that, um, yeah, some people will need to uh, rearrange their builds if they were using these to cap all the stats. Uh, before, this only gave me like 2,000 accuracy, and now it will give me 8,000, because that's 10% of its total value. As you can see, it's now uh, 8,085 and power also 10% of this, so uh, uh, 18,109. And if I do that in the game, you can see that this is also exactly the same. Accuracy and power, yep. I don't know if this is going to still change uh, or stay the same, I don't know. Uh, if it changes, of course, I will update this. Uh, especially event food i think this is all yeah this is all flat statistics so this will not change too much but event food yeah that's that's something new also uh, uh to see that this is the same i did remove the alpha compi uh you can see i have 199 197 power here now if i add the uh, alpha compi uh, it will still be 199 197 that's this is something i did not break in the character builder so i'm not gonna uh, break stuff it's gonna be fixed i don't know if it's still gonna be the same but if you add the compi here you will actually see what you would have if it would work you can see it's a difference of about ten thousand power uh nine thousand but the water metal so big is one thousand extra so as you can see it's all very precise as i like it um i think the next step is going to be uh equip bars maybe something like that or set bar set bonuses something uh, in that order or maybe both i don't know but yeah this will help you now to balance your build around the values that you will have with all the foods enabled because people will be using food typically foods are definitely worth it especially now the event foods which give a lot of stats and you can see i've added uh, many many of the event foods here all the ones that are interesting in my opinion um, so yeah have fun with that 
I will be making this version again available on my Patreon, free of charge of course, as always. So knock yourselves out and make some nice builds. If you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.